Hey there. Um, I am pretty excited about um, the video tonight because this is um, my first drink of a milkshake IPA. So this is Matchless Pog Milkshake IPA. Um, descriptors now with real fruit uh, and vanilla beans. Um, but we don't know what those fruits are. Contains fruit and dairy. <laughs> All right. Um, also, because it's worth noting, um, this has the independent craft brewery um, label on it um, from the Brewers Association, so that's really cool. Um, support small craft brewers. Yay. Um, okay. <clears throat> I have a, sorry, I have a cold. <coughs> Damn it. <clears throat> sorry. I have a cold, and so um, I might cough at you or be scratchy, and I apologize for that. Um, and I've been waiting to feel better, so that way I would be enthusiastic about drinking this beer, and my stomach is just like, meh, whatevs, so we're going to drink it anyway. Um, so, let's go look at what is in this beer. Okay, infused with real passion fruit, orange, guava, Orange and guava. Um, so that should be exciting. Um, there's some great um, kind of tropical citrusy hops, including Vic's Secret, Waimea, and Citra. Um, the malts include Pilsner, Flaked Oats, and Lactose. Um, so Lactose is the same um, sugar that they add to like a sweet stout to kind of give it that creaminess and... Um, um, and that kind of milk reminiscent flavor. Um, it's not necessarily milky per se, but um, definitely makes you think of milk. Um, and so uh, if you're not familiar with milkshake IPAs, they've been actually really hard for me to find. I haven't found any locally, and so this one's actually from Tabor. But if you haven't heard of a milkshake IPA, basically the gist is it's an IPA with all the tropical fruitiness. Um, they specifically add fruits to it, as I have just described, and then it has lactose added, so it kind of has that milky, creamy quality. Um, so I was excited about the lactose in an IPA. I wanted to try that, and I was excited about, I, I like the idea of fruity fruits added to an IPA that kind of, that uh, complement the flavors of the hops. I was excited about that. I'm a little nervous about the, like, citrusy, milkiness. So who knows if this will be good or not, but I've heard from a couple of people that they really enjoyed it. Um, so we'll take a look. Um, matchless Tumwater um, Brewing is up in Washington, um, and this beer um, contains 9.8% alcohol by volume, which I didn't realize it was such a heavy hitter, so woo, <laughs> that'll be fun. Um, so let's take a look at this. Also, I have a stuffy nose, so I don't know if I'll, if I'll even be able to smell it or taste it, but I have another can, so. I haven't heard a lot of people get angry about milkshake IPAs, which I totally expected to be a thing. People got mad about hazy IPAs. People got mad about glitter and beer. People just like to be mad, I feel like. Um, and to me, there are a lot of beers out there that I've tried, and I'm like, black totally not my thing. And then people are just grooving on it next to me, and I'm like, I'm not going to drink this. You want it? Um, don't get mad, you guys. There's no reason to be mad about these things. Um, try it, and if you like it, great. If you don't, great. Um, and if you hear a friend who likes weird things, you're like, hey, I tried this weird thing. You should give it a try. Don't hate. Collaborate. Um, all right. So we take a look at this. Pours nice and heady. Uh, as you can see, it's kind of a nice, um, nice big thick bubbles in this head. Um, delightfully uh, golden color, very hazy. Um, for the hazy IPA haters of the world out there, here's a beautiful one for you. Um, and it looks, it looks like that haze is probably from the flake dose, but also probably from the um, the infusion of fruits in here. But I don't see like chunky things floating around. Um, Sorry. Let's see if I can actually smell this. 
I get a little tropical fruitiness out of here. Yeah, and some passion fruit for sure. Actually. Also, I'm heating up hot stickers. No, whatever these are. Hold two seconds. Uh, heating up um, egg rolls, and so I also smell egg rolls, but that's fine. Um, mm, yeah, it's definitely tropical. Um, really nice, soft fruit fragrance going on here. Uh, well, cheers. First milkshake IPA. Definitely fruity and tropical. Um, definitely a beer that has fruit infused in it. The, the pine, no, excuse me, the uh, passion fruit is a delightful flavor. Um, and it really does complement this beer style really, really nicely. Very juicy, making me drool. Uh, I love that. Um, I'm going to take a couple more drinks because I'm not sure how the lactose kind of creaminess is, is working. There's a brewery in Berkeley called Gilman. I think it's just Gilman Brewing, not Gilman Street Brewing. Um, and they do a lot of fruit-infused beers. Sometimes, like I've had a... Anyway, they do a lot of fruit beers there. Um, and this kind of reminds me of that. They're always really well-picked complementary flavors for the beer style. Um, and I've enjoyed it so much. that I think I had a nectarine... I want to say it was a nectarine saison, but now I can't remember if it was a saison or it was... Anyway, this reminds me a lot of that. The flavor, the, the tropical-ness of this, the hops in an IPA go really well with these, with these fruity flavor profiles. The lactose doesn't give me that milk impression that I get out of, um, out of a milk stout, um, but... Um, it's very velvety and soft, um, and I also think it sweetens it a little bit. Um, definitely tasty. Um, I'm going to have to try a couple more um, that have different flavors in them because um, now I'm very curious how else it manifests, and then I'll also have to try it again when I don't have a a cold, so maybe I can taste it more, but, um, heavy hitting at 9.8%, um, but very interesting beer. If you've had milkshake IPAs, please share with me, um, some of the ones that you've had, what you thought about them, um, you can even drop a link down in the comments below, I would appreciate that, um, because I think I want to get my hands on some more, and like I said, I'm having difficulty finding any in particular, um, that have come across that I've come across in the wild while I was out shopping. So I'm definitely interested. Share with me some of that you've had. I would love to hear about it. Um, so there you go. Um, matchless Brewing, Pog, um, Passion Fruit, Orange, Guava. I forgot that that's what that meant, but there it is. Uh, Milkshake IPA, 9.8%. Um, quite a beer, um, and I'm enjoying it a lot. So let me know your thoughts on Milkshake IPAs. Do you hate them? Do you love them? And why? Don't just be like, oh, it's it's just a fad thing. That's kind of the point, you guys. Like, we're trying to drink something new and interesting and try a beer with a new and interesting ingredient. So here it is. We've done it. Ta-da! Good job. Um, try it. Tell me what you think. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Have a good night.